Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Gaby. How are you? I'm okay, teacher. You're okay. Good evening, okay. teacher. Good evening, Samuel. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Ah, it was I'm Jonathan. <laughs> Perdón, Samuel, creí que era usted que estaba hablando, pero era Jonathan. All right, pero sí, Samuel, how are you? ¿Cómo está? Muy bien, teacher. Muy bien, no, very good, teacher. <laughs> very good, teacher. All right, excellent. Very good to hear you. What about you, Jonathan? How are you? I'm tired. Um, I'm cold. You're tired Please. and cold. Oh my gosh. Can't believe you. I'm sweating. Yo no le creo, yo estoy sudando. <laughs> No, me, me mojé cuando venía en la moto. Ah, uh, well, that's the thing. That's true. Bueno, ahí sí, ya tiene un punto. You're right. What about Carla? How are you, Carla? Good. Very good. All right. Good to hear you, everybody. It's officially now the time to start our class. Now, let's check. What do we have for today's class? I can't ice skate very well. Class 14. Just on a three classes, everybody, to finish this level. Tres clasesitas más y you can go home very happy, all right? Now listen, um, por favor, quiero que estas últimas tres clases le pongamos más empeño todavía, okay? Trying to remember, tratar de recordar el vocabulary, practicarlo muchísimo. Porque quién sabe cuándo vuelvan a ver este vocabulary o cuándo vuelvan a ver estas estructuras. Again, right? De nuevo. Entonces, recuerden que el inglés tiene distintas, uh, distintos steps, decimos pasos, eh, grammatical rules, tiene bastantes cosas, right? Entonces, va cambiando con el tiempo también, se va actualizando. Some words. So, that's why you always need to be paying a lot of attention. Por eso usted siempre tiene que estar busca, eh, prestando bastante atención y buscando respuestas, ¿verdad? Cuando usted tenga alguna duda. So now let's move on. Let me check. Grammar facts. Ayer yo leí esta información, pero vamos a hacerles como un reminder, right? Voy a volver a leerlo yo y luego van ustedes. That's it. <laughs> What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Please, everybody, basketball is not the same as baseball. By baseball is different a basketball, right? I know both of them start with B. Sé que ambas inician con B, pero tenemos que tratar de ver muy bien la palabra so that we don't get confused. Así no nos confundimos. What do you, no, who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice. Aquí no es once ni twice. No, no, no. Aquí es once or twice a week. When do you practice? Oh, we practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Let's get started. Vamos a iniciar ya. Samuel, usted va a hacer las preguntas. You are going to ask. And Gaby Molina, you are going to answer. All right, action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Baseball. Baseball. <laughs> Hello, Miss. Lorena, welcome. That's it. Where do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. How often do you practice? We play at Hunter Park. When do you practice? We practice once or play a week. Mm, no, 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 van mal. Let's see. Eh, se perdieron desde where do you play by ahí Gaby se saltó la respuesta we play at Hunter Park 
Sí la dijo, pero la dijo en how often do you practice. Uno de los dos se perdió. <laughs> That's for sure. No me acuerdo, Tisha. Vaya. Entonces vamos desde where do you play, Samuel. Continúe desde where do you play y esperamos la respuesta de Gar. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Once or twice? Once or twice. When a do week. you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? Start? We, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you very much for your participation. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos a la siguiente pareja. Eh, tendremos a Lorena. Lorena, usted va a preguntar. Y Carla Melissa, you answer. Okay? Action. Okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Well, do you play basketball with? I Repeat. play with some friends. Repeat, Lorena, baseball. Base? Baseball. Base. Where well, do you play? I... Voy muy rápido, perdón. Sí, Carlita no le dijo la respuesta de la otra. <ríe> Puedo comenzar si quieres. I quiere. play. Eh, estoy en comienzo. Okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Well, do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often, often do you practice? We practice once of, or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice of on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Very good rhythm with questions, Lorena. Excellent. And thank you so much, Carlita. Very That's good job. Nice. Very good. You are improving. Um, your pronunciation, you're making it so much better, right? Con estas prácticas, no solamente aprenden ustedes a hacer las questions, sino también practican la intonation que se le debe de dar y la pronunciation, right? Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Sería Marlon Escalante. You are going to ask. Damari Isabel, you answer. Usted contesta. No, here. You are not here. I can hear you. <laughs> Is my clown. Who was? You are? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. What sport do you play? I play okay, um, basketball. basketball. Uh, who do you play baseball with? Mm -hmm. I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play on Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice uh, once or twice a week. Twice. Um, when do you practice it? Practice, ma'am. Um, sorry. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 2 o'clock. I think at 10 o'clock in the morning. 
Excellent. Very good job, y'all. Thank you. Very good. Marlon and Damaris. Excellent. Now, let me check. Eh, la única palabrita, Damaris, que usted puede practicar más sería twice, right? Ah, y baseball, porque es baseball, no es básico. All right. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja, everybody. This is pretty good vocabulary. Jonathan, usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad? Digamos que sí, teacher. <laughs> Let's fake it. Fake it till you make it. Hay que mentir hasta que lo creamos. Ok. Jonathan, <laughs> you ask. Usted pregunta, Jonathan. Katia Cangura, you answer. Usted contesta, Katia. Action. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball? I play with some. I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? Do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Once when or twice. Come on. Once, once, once or, twice. or twice or twice a week. When do you when do practice? You practice. We practice on Sunday. What time do, you start? time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's correct. That's correct. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Katia. Very good job. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la última pareja ya. All right. And then we move on. Let me see. Let's go with. Vamos a ver si Victor Gutierrez le funciona el audio, Victor. Hola, me escucha. Yes, sí, le escuchamos. All right, vaya. Victor, usted va a preguntar, Fanny Marlene, you answer. Usted contesta. Action. What sport do you play? Who do you play basketball? Ba basket, ¿cómo se pronuncia basketball? Baseball. Baseball, ah, perdón. Baseball with? Who do you play baseball with? No, 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 sorry, yo te tengo que responder, espérate, me confundí, <risa> columna. Bye. Right. No se preocupe, Fanny, ¿ok? De nuevo. Pero sí, Fanny, también aquí es béisbol, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Empezamos okay. de nuevo entonces. Sí. Va. What sports do you play? I play hockey en en béisbol. Who do you play baseball with? I uh, play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice on, once or twice a week. Once or twice? Twice. When do you do, when do you practice? We practice all on, some, on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Thank you, y'all. Very good job. All right. Listen up. This is an incredible way to start the class. Esta es una manera muy increíble de poder iniciar la clase. Porque ustedes practican desde el inicio de su clase, right? No están esperando a que el docente hable todo y después practiquen ustedes. No, you're practicing now. Let's move on to the next one. Guiding structure. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Quiero destacar que aunque aquí solamente dice guiding structure, Es la estructura del simple present WH questions, all right? Si quieren copiar el temita esta. Y luego les voy a pasar la slide para que copien la estructura. Which is pretty important.
<laughs> okay, I imagine that you already finished copying the topic. Let's move on to the structure. Esta es la estructura. Uh, let me hear, let me see. Samuel Flores, please read the structure. Léame la estructura, Samuel. Uh, double H word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Let's go with. <laughs> Lorena Alvarez, read the structure, please. WS word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus. Plus question mark. Plus question. Excellent. Thank you, Lorena. Gracias. And the last one, Gaby, read the structure, please. Yes, teacher. W H word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question. Excellent question mark. Very good job. Excellent, everybody. Thank you. This was just to emphasize the structure and trying for you to remember. Esto era para enfatizar la estructura y hacer que ustedes puedan recordarla un poquito más. So I imagine that you already finished copying the structure. So let's move on to the guiding examples. Así que nos vamos a mover a los ejemplos. Hmm. What sports does Eunice play? Who do you play tennis with? Where does he play? How often do they practice? Right? Now let's listen to Fanny. Fanny Marlene, please read question number one and two. What sport does Eunice play? Who do you play tennis with? Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Damaris, three and four. Where does she play? How often do, do they practice? Excellent, thank you, all right. These are pretty much the basic examples that we have for this. WH questions. Básicamente, estos son ejemplos que ustedes tienen para poder trabajar con las WH questions. Pero hay otra estructura que yo quiero que ustedes chequen, all right? Que la tengan en mente y que también la muestran los videos. Um, let me know if you're taking notes. Me avisan si están tomando nota o si ya terminaron para mover la slide. Estamos tomando nota, Tichi. Okay, good. We can I'm check the examples. Excellent, Marlon. Very good. We can check the examples. He cambiado la estructura de regreso. Okay, ya voy a poner los examples. 
Vamos a ver, ¿cuál es la WH word que estamos utilizando en question number one and number two, Carla Melissa? What and who? Who? Excellent. Very good, Melissa. Excellent. All right. Then, if you follow the order, si seguimos el order, el order, el orden, ok. Miren, me cuesta la palabra poner en español, all right? So, don't laugh at me. Así que no se rían. Let's check. Si seguimos el orden de la estructura, we can notice how it's been followed, right? Podemos notar, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos sports. What sports does Eunice play? All right. Teacher, pero ahí nos puso la palabra sports y no está en la categoría, en ninguna categoría de la estructura. No problem, yo, all right. No hay ningún problema. Usted puede agregar alguna palabra extra para que su eh, sentence o para que su oración o pregunta tenga sentido, all right. Pero luego no nos salimos de la estructura con eso, ¿ok? Seguimos con el do o el does. Luego el subject, que en todo caso sería Eunice. Y luego el verb, que sería play. Teacher, you didn't add a compliment. Teacher, no puso un complemento. It's okay, no problem with that, right? No es necesario, it's not mandatory. No es obligación que usted ponga un complemento. Sería mejor si lo pusiéramos porque tiene más sentido en nuestra sentence, pero si no, lo dejamos. Si se fijan en estos examples, la mayoría termina solamente con el verb. De ella no se le agrega un complement, right? With that being said, habiendo dicho eso, let's move on. Guiding structure. Tenemos una structure específica. Y es que esta termina con el with. Let's check the structure. Who plus do or does plus subject plus verb and noun plus with. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué le hizo falta aquí? Le hizo falta el question mark. Right? Plus question mark. No nos olvidemos, everybody. Parece sencillo el copiar un ejemplo y no ponerle el question mark y asumir que sí es una pregunta. Pero al momento de leerla, nuestra entonación varía porque podemos confundirnos, right? Así que es apropiado que usted copie la estructura tal y como es y el ejemplo tal y como es. Let's listen to, vamos a escuchar a Maybelline, please. Can you read the structure? Nos lee la estructura, Maybelline, please. Guiding instructor. Who plus do uh, or does plus subject, plus verb, and now, plus with, plus uh, question mark. Question, creo que uh, yeah, question okay. mark, very good. Okay, okay. Thank you, Mabel. Now let's listen to Jonathan Burgos. Jonathan, le dame la estructura de nuevo, please. Uh, who plus do does plus subject, plus where and now, plus why, plus question. Question mark. Question mark. Excellent, very good, Jonathan. And let's go with the last one. Vamos con la siguiente. Eh, Silvia Flores, please read the structure. Leame la estructura. Go, plus do or does, plus subject, plus where and now, plus we, plus se me olvidó cómo dice, dice signo de interrogación. Question mark. Question mark. Excellent. Thank you, Silvia. Very good. Okay, my dear students. I couldn't help to avoid, all right, noticing that you are using, you are pronouncing bad word, right? Let's check. ¿Cuál es la palabra que nos podría costar pronunciar en esta question, en esta structure? Logré notar que algunos me dicen who y no es who o who tampoco. Es who. All right? Who. Así como está. Who. That's how you pronounce it. Who. Who plus does or who plus do or does plus. All right? También la palabra, el símbolo más. Es cierto que se escribe así. Plus. Pero no se pronuncia así, se pronuncia plus. 
all right? Plus. Let's try to give the intonation, all right? Now, let's move on with this one. Ahora vamos a ver los guiding examples. Who does Martin play baseball with? Who do you practice with? With whom does Juan play? All right. Estas, estas, oras, estas preguntas están basadas en ejemplos también que ustedes vieron en la plataforma. Si ya hemos avanzado en esa, en esa section. All right. So, notice the examples. They are being followed with the correct order, right? Esos ejemplos están con el, orde, con el orden correcto, como debería de ser. We only have one exception. Solamente tenemos una excepción que es el who, pero es básicamente lo mismo que who, all right? El video, si no más eh, recuerdo, explica que en algunos países utilizan who instead of who. That's the only difference. And let me check. The ito está completo. I think you're copying the questions, all right? Creo que algunos de ustedes están copiando las preguntas, so I'm gonna let it over here. Voy a dejarla un ratito aquí. Finish taking notes. Finish. Excellent, Damaris. Very good. Finish. Very good, excellent. Bye, ahora nos movemos. Uh, no, no nos movemos todavía. Necesito que ustedes practiquen con estas questions. Vamos a pedirle a Marlon. Please, Marlon, read one, two, and three. Writing example. Who does Martin play basketball with? Who do you practice with? With whom does one play? Excellent, thank you. Let's listen to Carla Melissa. Please read the three examples. Who does Martin play basketball with? Who do you practice with? With which one does? To Juan play. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. With whom? With whom does Juan play? All right. Excellent. Now, my dear students, practice time. All right. Momento de practicar lo que hemos aprendido hasta ahorita. Fanny Marlene, please, léame las instructions. Practice time. Work as a whole class. No, work uh, a a whole a wall, a class. No, no, no. Lo dijo perfecto la primera vez. Oh. Ah, work a whole class. Eh, to create create a lead for question using W H word. Three. Share your question with the class. Excellent. Thank you, Marlene. Very good. All right, everybody. Four questions. Everyone is going to pass. Si no quieren crear cuatro preguntas, al menos creemos three, all right? Como mínimo, three. As a maximum, four. No más de cuatro, right? Porque no nos da el tiempo para escuchar cinco o seis. Como máximo cuatro, como mínimo tres, all right? Let's work on it.
come down. Music for my ears. Okay. Marlon, we're going to wait one more minute and you're going to be the first one, all right? So be ready, please. Um, okay, so. Okay, you may start now, Martin. Action. Well, um, how often do you practice basketball with your brother? Um, where do you do you play baseball with? No, where do you play Be baseball? Uh -huh. And. How often do you practice with baseball? No, how often do you practice it baseball? And how often do you practice baseball? Mm -hmm. And I don't remember. How is that? How is that you don't remember? I created in my mind. Ah, you but, create them on your mind. But but I I I see or I watch the WA equation in a, another academy, and I and I and I that's only that. Bit. Those but, are the only ones that you handle. Solo esas, right? Solo esas tiene Marlon. No, I have more, but I don't. I I I don't. I don't know. How often do you visit your your grandparents or your uh -huh. parents? Yeah, that could work. I mean, it is correct, actually. Oh, what do you eat there? What do you eat? Uh huh. What do you eat every day? Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, Where Marla. Do you go to the beach. Marla, I told you four as a maximum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. Let me hear somebody else. Very good job, Marlon. Excellent. No tuvo ningún error gramatical. Thanks. Vamos con quién sería la siguiente o quién será el siguiente. Nobody else has finished. Nadie más ha terminado. Finish, Miss. Finish. All right, Lorena. Ajá, dígame, Lorena. Read your sentences for me. What can I do? Who can see? Ah, vaya, Lorena, ahí no, no, no distrajimos un poquito de la estructura. Oh. Porque la estructura no lleva a can, lleva la auxiliar do or does. Oh, ok. Voy a volver a hacerlo entonces. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Gracias. You're welcome. Sí, porque ya vamos a ver el can y el can't, pero ahorita estamos todavía con el auxiliar do or does. Um, let's check somebody else. ¿Alguien más? O empiezo yo a decir quiénes van a pasar. Ah, Gaby, excelente. Creo que. Después de Gaby, Jonathan. <laughs> What sport does Frederick play? Where does Frederick play? Y who does Frederick play? Ah, who does Frederick play with? Mm -hmm. With. Ah. All right, excelente. Sí, a esa cuando utiliza el who tiene que agregar el with al final. Very good, Gabby. Excellent. So great of you. <laughs> Qué valiente, Gabby. Excellent. Let's go with Jonathan. Um, where does she go? Uh -huh. Who where often does... do you Where does she go? Where does she go? She go. Uh, how often do you play soccer? Uh -huh. uh, who do you she cooking with? Who do who do you cook with? She. Ah, no. who does? Who does she? Who mm, does she? Who does she cooking with? This mm -hmm. Or who do? Who does she cook does... with? She cook with. Ah, okay. Tiene que ser cook cook porque ya lleva el does. 
ya lleva el auxiliar das. No llevaría el she. Sí, Entonces, claro que sí. Es que usted me había dicho cooking y no puede poner cooking, all right? Sería oh. eh, who does she cook with? Cook with. Ah, ok. Excelente. ¿Otra, Jonathan, o solo esas? Es solo tres de hechos, teacher. All right, excellent. Very good. Pero lo felicito, all right? No se me quedó con menos de eso. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Let's go with Samuel. Ajá, Samuel. Lo escucho. Después de Samuel, Katia Canjura. No he terminado, teacher. Solo tengo una. Samuel. One. Okay, let's hurry up. Vamos con Katia, entonces. Sí, están buenas. Bueno, lo voy a decir. Eso me gusta, porque así aprendemos, right? Who does Carla play baseball with? Where does she study? When do you go to your friend's house? Solo esas he hecho. Very good, Katia. They are correct. Sí, están correctas, Katia. Excelente. Vamos con Maybe. And uh, what do you do for your parents? Uh, where does he work? What does she buy at the boutique? Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, Maybelline. Very good. Let's go with Carla Melissa. Después de Carla Melissa, iría Lorena Alvarez. Okay, action, Carla. Todavía no, mis, estoy haciéndolas. Ok, ok. Vamos a escuchar a Carlita entonces y después de Carla iríamos con Fanny Marlene. Action card. Carla, your microphone is off. Ahora sí, ya está encendido, Carla. Who do you play basketball with? Uh, when does Jose play football? How often do they play tennis? Mm -hmm. uh, where does he play? Where does he play? All right, excellent, Carla, very good. Correct sentences, right? Correct questions. Now, let's go with Fanny. Después de Fanny, Silvia Flores. Action, Fanny. What sport does uh, Carla play? Mm -hmm. um, Carla plays. Who do you play tennis? No. Uh, Carla, esa, Carla, en esa. No. Uh -huh. no, perdón. ¿Qué me iba a decir? No, no, dele, Fanny. Se me olvidó cómo, cómo poner Carla juega tenis. Car ah, vaya, pero ahí no está preguntando, ahí está firmando, Fanny. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Y la otra sería How often do your cousin practice? Ah, very good. How often does your cousin practice? Y who do la otra me la no la otra no la he terminado. All right, Fanny, excellent. Solo dijimos dos, all right, porque la otra dijimos que era statement, era oración, y ahorita estamos con questions. Very good, Fanny. Thank you. Let's go with Silvia Flores. What Sarah does in the morning? What does the cleaning in your house? No, who does the cleaning in your house? What Sarah does in the morning? What does Sara in the morning? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Solo da Silvia. Mm, le dije, who does the cleaning in your house? Is ah. what Maria does in the day? All right, yeah, yes, Silvia, those are correct. What does yes. Maria do? During the day. Ok, recuerden, ah, okay. no me pueden poner el sujeto antes del auxiliar. Ok. Ya ven, everybody, para eso funcionan estas prácticas. Porque a veces 
hay cosas que, en las que todavía podemos estar como tambaleando, right, en las structures, pero gracias a la práctica nos damos, nos damos cuenta cómo podemos mejorarlas, right? Excellent, very good. Pues no es lo mismo que yo les transmita nada más la información, ustedes copien y ya estuvo. No, that's not the purpose. Now, my dear students, let's move on. Pronunciation, can or can't. Can and can't. I can't sing. We have Kayla and Philip. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing very, no, you can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Tendremos a Jonathan Burgos, ustedes Philip. Y vamos a ver. Excuse me, Miss. Yes, ¿Puedo decir mis dos oraciones? Ok. Where do you make coffee? With whom does he make breakfast? Very good. Excellent, Lorenita. Very good job. Gracias. Ok. Let's work with. No le he asignado a nadie, ¿verdad? Jonathan va a trabajar con Gaby Molina, entonces, right? Antes de que Gaby se nos duerma. <laughs> ok, you are sí. Kayla, Gaby. Usted es Kayla, ok? Action. Oh, look, there are talent contests on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What I can do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can't play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest? Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, very good. Sure, why not? Claro, ¿por qué no? ¿Por qué no avergonzarme en frente del público? All right, excellent. Very good. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Carla Melisa, you are Kayla. Marlon Escalante, you are Philip. Action. Oh, look. There is talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter in a late in a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice it tomorrow. All right, excellent. Let me see. Marlon, repeat after me. Enter a talent contest. Enter a talent contest. Y la otra sería practice. Practice. Um, yes. I'm sorry. But I don't, I, I, I forgot. I I lost my class, so I have a difficult about reading the this. Do not worry, my friend. All right, I was just trying to help you. Okay, that's my job. Me, soy medio choco ahorita. <laughs> yeah, no se preocupe, okay, yo lo comprendo. Yo pensé que es que como no lo veo, verdad? Porque solo Gaby tiene la cámara encendida y me lista. Entonces, pues, I I get lost, me pierdo, no conozco a nadie. Okay, let's go with Carla. Repeat after me. Sing at all. Sing at all. Excellent, very good. <laughs> as, well as well can. Ah? As well can. Can and can't. From final T. Can't is no puedo. Y can, the 
puedo. Mm -hmm. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Very good. Ok, Carlita, ¿por qué le dije esto? Porque no hay problema si decimos at all, pero eh, por el tipo de inglés que estamos aprendiendo es mejor seguir la secuencia de eso, right? At all. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Samuel Flores. You are Philip. Katia Canjura. You are Kayla. Action. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a tablet. Talent contest. What? What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, that's way you can do. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. Samuel, your microphone. So maybe, maybe. Oh. We can, the we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, very good job. Thank you for your effort, guys. Now, let's listen to, vamos a ver, en que podemos continuar mejorando. Let's see, vamos a ver. Ah, aquí está. Samuel, repeat after me. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm, exactly. Y la otra sería... Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. Those two. That's the only... Uh, those are the only words. All right. Vamos con... Katia, let me think about the ones that you read. Déjeme pensar cuáles fueron las que usted leyó. Hmm. No, I think it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, we're doing good, Katia. Excellent. Now, let's go with the last pair. Vamos con la última pareja. Maybelline, usted es Kayla. Y Damaris, usted sería Philip. Action. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, do you can too? Oh, no, I can't sing, sing at all, but I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, very good role play. Okay. Very good job. Now, let me see. Vamos a ver, porque creo que sí me falta otra pareja también. Vamos a tener a Lorena Álvarez. Usted va a ser Kayla. Silvia Flores, usted va a ser Philip. Ok, action. Oh, look. There, there's a talent contest. On Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent constant contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the content. Sure, we not. Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent. Very good. Well done. Thank you. Let me listen to Lorena, please. Why not, Lorena? Why not? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very Gracias. Good. Gracias. Okay, my dear students. Miren, antes de 
de continuar lo siguiente, hay algo que he querido decir right, todo este tiempo y no sé por qué siempre se me olvida. Pero sí quería felicitarlos porque miren, son bien constantes, right? Tengo exactamente los mismos alumnos con los que inicié el curso. Así vamos, no, no me han faltado, a lo mucho han faltado quizás una clase, right? So, congratulations to you guys, los felicito. Es quizás de los primeros grupos que he visto que sí se conectan desde el primer día, llevan esa secuencia, right? You don't get lost, no se pierden, very good. Let's go, let's use can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. ¿Por qué no podemos decir at all? Porque usualmente la British people, los británicos, all right, son lo, las personas que hablan de esa manera, right? Doing more emphasis, haciendo más emphasis. And we're not using that kind of English. Aunque es muy bonito el acento de ellos, all right? Y es, es súper lindo el inglés de ellos. No es precisamente el que vamos a utilizar in daily basis, en la vida diaria. So that's why we use the American. Sing at all, at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you, can you sing? Can I sing? Can he sing? Can she sing? Can we sing? Can they sing? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, he can. No, she can't. No, we can't. No, they can't. All right, let me move this. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can, all right? I love the can for ability, all right? Me encanta el uso del can para hablar de habilidades o de posibilidades que tenemos. Now, let's go with Gabby. Gabby, léame las primeras, la primera columna, please. Justamente como yo la leí. I can sing very well, con cada sujeto, all right? I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can sing at all. We can sing at all. They can sing at all. Excellent. Thank you, Gabby. Let's go with Maybelline. Maybelline, usted pregunta y Carla Melissa, usted contesta, right? Es decir, que si Maybelline pregunta, can you sing? Carla, usted va a decir, yes, I can. Luego, si ella utiliza, can I sing? Usted utiliza, yes, you can, ¿ok? Let's follow the short action. You can sing. Can you sing? Oh, perdón. <laughs> perdón. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can. Can we sing? No, we can. Can they sing? No, they can. Excellent. Very good rhythm. Muy bien, Maybelline and Carlita. Let's go with the last one. Vamos con el, el último eh, cuadrito. Marlon Escalante, please. Lee las preguntas y también las contesta. All right, solo son dos. Um, uh, you can, you want to, I, I read them there. Only these two. What can I do? What can I do? You can see. Who can I, who can see Phil can? Excellent. Thank you, yo. All right, before we finish the class, I just want to show you this structure. Vamos a terminar con esta estructura, all right? 
guiding structure with can or can't. We have subject plus can or can't plus verb plus complement, all right? That's a normal guiding structure, una estructura normal utilizando los auxiliares, en este caso, can or can't, okay? Okay. Now let's listen to Samuel, please. Samuel, léame la estructura. Subject plus can or can't plus verb plus verb plus complement. Excellent. Very good job, sir. All right, everybody. We're going to finish the class in here. It has been a pleasure to be with you. Ha sido un placer estar con ustedes una clase más. Y nos vemos mañana, all right? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Blessings. Thank you. Blessings for you too. Have a good night. Good night.